Now, over the past five decades, Craig Hospital has helped more than 31,000 brain and spinal cord patients. And while we often think of it as a rehab hospital for adults, teenagers also can find hope there. Denver 7's Russell Haythorn shares one teen story of overcoming the odds. Yeah, it's, it's great to just be free. Like most high school seniors, Mitch Lukes walks the halls of Ponderosa High with a great deal of confidence. <laughs> but the student, once called the comeback kid by the student magazine, knows he's lucky to even be back at school after a mountain biking accident in Canada last fall. I uh, immediately broke my, um, my hips, my pelvis, my femur, my L4, and then I also um, shattered my helmet. And those were his injuries before he developed complications. So overnight, I uh, unfortunately developed um, this syndrome called fat emboli. What it is, is um, fat emboli is something where um, a piece of bone marrow off the broken bone gets embolized in your bloodstream and can be caught um, in the, the, the bloodstream or the uh, lungs and brain. Mitch spent nearly a week in a coma before he was well enough for doctors to finish repairing all his broken bones, but it was concern about his brain injury that led him here to Craig Hospital, once home in Colorado. At then I didn't really, I didn't really have a lot of hope um, to, to continue my recovery. But the, the, ther the therapist there um, really gave me that hope. Came for your meeting that we had in this room. Determined to return to Ponderosa for the second semester and graduate with his class, Mitch began working on his classwork with Laura Magnuson, yeah. the school program coordinator with the track program, that's teen rehab at Craig. In Mitch's case, the work that we did um, we were working on an English class. It was a natural extension of his speech goals, working on uh, memory, processing, speed, attention, and his language skills. Teachers with the school program work with about 50 teens every year, providing assistance at both Craig and when they get home. We reach out to the school team, first of all, open those lines of communication, create an academic plan. Those plans include accommodations for teens in wheelchairs or on crutches like Mitch was for a while, providing extra class notes for students or simply giving them permission to wear a hat in class to shield eyes that have become sensitive to light. In my left eye, I see like kind of a Swiss cheese kind of thing. Go for it, Mitch. Outings organized by the track program, like this recent archery trip, also give teens a chance to hang out away from the hospital and without their parents. Yeah, it just gave me so much more motivation when you see other people, other people's stories and what they have done. I feel successful when I see them just being teenagers and hanging out. Danielle Scroggs is a rehabilitation therapist who organizes those outings, which are funded in large part by your donations. We want to offer them a, a safe environment where they can be rowdy teenagers. All communication must be completed non-verbally, so no talking. When classes wrap up this spring, Mitch will graduate with the Ponderosa High School class of 2019. While he knows his accident was life-altering, Mitch says the only thing that has really changed is him. But yeah, I don't think I will ever be where I was before the incident and the accident. Um, but I think like through the people I've met and experiences I've had um, and some of like the work I've put in like physically and mentally, I definitely am a better person. Wow, what a story there. Mitch says he's planning on trying out to be a speaker at Pondawosa's graduation this spring. And tomorrow, Denver 7 is partnering with the Craig Hospital Foundation to raise money for things like the Teen Rehab at Craig program. Phone lines open up at 6 o'clock in the morning. If you'd like to donate now, log on to the denverchannel.com slash empoweringlives.